Hi guys, this is going to be the drill that's going to show you how to make this diamond lace crochet stitch number two. You can do this stitch with any size yarn, any ply yarn. I'm using worsted weight yarn, which is four ply for the US, ten ply for Australia, and I'm using a five millimeter hook or a size eight hook for the US. The multiples of this stitch is 12 plus 6 and what that means is that you're going to be chaining in multiples of 12, 12, 12, 12 until you've reached your desired width. Once you have, you'll chain 6 more and you'll be ready to begin row 1. Okay, I just did my multiples of 12. I've got the width that I want. So now I'm ready to crochet my plus 6. One, two, three, four, five, six, because the multiples are 12 plus six. So I have my plus six, now I'm ready to begin row one. So for row one, we're gonna start by doing a double crochet in the seventh chain from the hook. So count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the seventh chain, go ahead, yarn over, go into that seventh chain and do a double crochet. Now we want to have 10 double crochets in a row. So the first one we just did will count as one. So go ahead and do nine more double crochets down your chain here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. Let me just make sure. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I need one more. I guess I was counting the first one too. Okay, there we go. Ten double crochets in a row plus your chain here. Now you want to chain two. One, two. And you want to skip two. And then in the next you want to do a double crochet. And again, we're going to be doing 10 double crochets in a row. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. It's really important that you have the ten, so definitely count. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Make sure you have your ten. When you do, you repeat the pattern that we did back here. So we're going to chain two. Gonna skip two. One, two, and then the third one over. Do a double crochet. And you continue this pattern all the way down your chain where you do 10 double crochets in a row, then chain two, skip two, then work your next 10 double crochets in a row, and you wanna continue this all the way down your chain. And here I am at the end of my row. If you've done your, your first count of your multiples of 12 plus six, if you've done that correctly and you've gotten all your 10 uh, double crochets, chain two, skip two, you've done everything correctly, you should end up with just two chains left at the end of row one. And how you work that is you'll chain one, skip one, and double crochet in the very last chain to end row one. Okay, for row two, you want to chain three, oops, three and turn. And the repeats are going to be rows two, through 10. So mark your, uh, where you are right now. Make a note where you are on the video right now and uh, what time it is on the video because you may want to back up to this in a, in a minute. So for row two, we're going to chain three and we're going to put a double crochet right here in this chain one space here on the end. Then you'll chain two and you'll skip two, just like we did before, but this time it's double crochet, so we're gonna skip these two double crochets and into the third one over, we're gonna put a double crochet. 
and now we, we need six double crochets in a row. This is the first, so then we're going to start in our next one right here, and go down the line till we have a total of six. That's three, four, five, and six. Just going to make sure I have six. I do. So then after you have your six double crochets, you want to chain two. And now you're going to skip these last two on the end, just like you skipped them at the beginning. And now we're going to be working in this chain two space. You want to put two double crochets in that chain two space. One double crochet for each chain. We're filling in that space for this row. So we have our two double crochets. Now you want to repeat what you just did back here. So you're going to chain two. You're going to skip these first two double crochets. You're going to go into the third and double crochet. And now again, you want six in a row. So this one counts as one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then again, just like we did before, we're going to chain two and skip these last two on the end and work two double crochets in this chain two space from row one. Then after the two worked in the chain two space, we're going to chain two again, skip these first two and work a double crochet in our third. So you're going to repeat this pattern all the way down your row and I'll show you how to end row two. Okay, when you reach the end of your row two and you just did your last set of six double crochets, to end the row you'll chain two and then in this, this space here on the end in this chain, you're going to put two double crochets in that ending chain space. And that will end row two. Now at the end of every row, before you start your next row I should say, you're always going to want to chain three. So for row three and for all rows you will chain three and turn. So this chain three counts as the very first double crochet. So in the second double crochet of the row I want you to put a double crochet. Now you're going to be working two double crochets in your chain two space. Then you're going to chain two and you're going to skip two and then the third one over you're going to work a double crochet. You're basically, you're, you're only working chains and double crochet so the stitch will always be a double crochet or a chain. So in this, this row you only want two double crochets in a row so we're going to go ahead and put another double crochet here and then you'll chain two and now we're going to be working in our spaces here you're going to be putting two double crochets in this chain two space one double crochet in each of these two double crochet so one double crochet one double crochet and then again two in the other space for a total of six double crochets so we just did our two double crochets here, we chain two, we're going to skip over to our first chain two space and work our first set of two double crochets. Then we're going to work one double crochet in this double crochet, one double crochet in the next double crochet, and then two double crochets in the chain two space. And then we'll repeat this for the row. Again you'll chain two, skip the first two double crochets here and work a double crochet in the next two spaces, next two stitches, sorry. And then again we're going to do what we did right here working in our, our chain twos. So we're going to chain two and move on over and start working our two double crochets in the chain two space, one double crochet in each of these double crochets in the center and then two in our chain two space. And then you're ready now to chain two. 
and skip two. And you're going to repeat this down your row until you reach the end of row three, where you have these last two here. And you're going to put one double crochet, I mean two double crochets, sorry, in this chain two space. And then one double crochet in this double crochet here. And then you're left with just the chain. And you're going to put a double crochet in the top of the chain three to end your row. So you're ending with four double crochets and you begin with four double crochets because the chain three does count as a double crochet. And that is the end of row three. So for row four, Again, you're always going to chain three. So chain three and turn. The chain three counts as the first double crochet, so we're going to be putting one double crochet in the next three double crochets. So there's one, two, and three. We're also going to be putting two double crochets in the chain two space. And then we'll chain two. We'll skip these two here in the middle and we're going to go right into our chain two space and put two double crochets in there. Then we're going to work a double crochet along all six of our double crochets here. One, two, three, Four. Oop. Five. And six. Now we're also going to be working two double crochets in this chain two space. So now we have ten double crochets in a row here. Chain two. Move on over. We're going to skip these first uh, double crochets again and go right into our space again. We're going to be starting our next set immediately because this whole row is going to be expanding the, the diamond to the, the biggest. Uh, it doesn't get any fatter than that, any wider than that. Ten is the max. So we're going to be doing that all along our row. So we just did two in this one. We're going to do one double crochet in all six of these and then two in the last one here and then you'll chain two and then you'll move over to your next set. Continue that down your row and I will show you how to end row four. Okay, I just did the last of my ten for my last diamond of my row and after you get done with that you want to chain two, put two in the chain two space. Then you want to put one double crochet in each of these three double crochets here. One, okay, stupid hook doesn't want to listen to me. Okay, three. And then you want to put one in the ending chain three. So you start with six and you end with the six. And then that will end row four. Okay, for row five, like always, we're going to be chaining three and turning. And now since the last row we reached our peak wideness of our diamonds, this will be, we're going to be going down again. We're reducing it to a point. <clears throat> so we have our chain three that will count as a stitch. So we're going to be working in the second double crochet of the row and we're putting a double crochet in there. You want to put a double crochet in the next two stitches as well. So you'll have three double crochets plus the chain three, which chain three counts as a double crochet. So you have four total stitches here. Then you want to chain two, skip these next two double crochets and working in your chain two space, you want to put two double crochets. Then chain two, you'll skip two, and then the third one over, 
we'll start putting a double crochet and in this row we're going to be ha uh, we're going to use only six of these middle ones so that's one two three four five and six then you'll chain two we're going to repeat the uh, repeat of the row now you'll chain two you'll skip the last two and you'll put two double crochets in this middle this middle stitch here then you'll chain two you'll skip two third one over you put your double crochet and then this is where we're starting the repeat of six in a row six double crochets in a row and then again you'll skip the last two you'll chain two and you'll work two double crochets in the last I mean in this uh, this space here so go ahead and get to this put your two double crochets in that space and then I'll show you how to end row five okay I just put my two double crochets in my last uh, chain two space here now to end your row you're going to chain two you're going to skip these first two double crochets and you're going to double crochet in the third one over then you're going to double crochet in the next two double crochets as well and then you're going to put a double crochet in the top of the chain three space here on the end and that'll give you four double crochets on the end and that will be the end of row five okay for row six no surprise chain three and turn okay um, chain three again counts as the first stitch so we're going to be working in the second stitch of the row and you're going to put a double crochet in there and then those will be the only two stitches here because we're going to chain two we're going to skip two and we're going to be right in our chain two space where we're going to put two double crochets one two then after that you'll chain two Oh, sorry, not chain two. <laughs> After that, uh, we're going to do like we did before. Two double crochets in the chain two space, which we just did. One double crochet in each of these double crochets here, and two in the chain two space. We're creating our six double crochets in a row. Then you'll chain two. And you're going to skip these two here and you're going to put double crocheting the third one over and then and then following stitch as well we're back to our two on the row again this is the top peak of our our diamond here so afterwards you will chain two this is the beginning of our repeat we'll chain two we'll skip these two here put two in the chain two space one in each of the uh, each of the double crochets and two in the chain two space then you'll chain two again skip two put those two double crochets for the peak of your diamond then you'll chain two skip these next two and then again you're going to work two in the chain two space one in each of the and then two in the and I'll get when you get to the very end of this row uh, come back and I will show you how to end row six okay once you put your last two double crochets to finish your six out here on the end you have three double crochets on the end in the chain three space so you will chain two skip these two and you're going to be working a double crochet in the last double crochet and a double crochet in the top of the chain three and that will end row six okay for row seven and I misspoke uh, row seven is the only one that you chain four so for row seven chain four one two three four because it's going to count as a double crochet and a, a chain so turn and you're going to be skipping the first two double crochets here and you're just going to start working right into your chain two space and you're going to put two double crochets there then you're going to work one double crochet all along your six stitches and then you'll put two double crochets in your chain two space as well this is going to be the the width 
of the diamond again. So you should, in the end, have a total of 10 in a row. After you've done your six double crochets and two double crochets in each chain two space. Here I am putting my two double crochets and my chain two space. You can count two, four, six, eight, ten. So we have our total of ten double crochets and our beginning chain four. So after that, you want to chain two and you're going to start it all over again. Two double crochets here, double crochet along your six, and then two double crochets there. And then again, you'll chain two, move over and start your next. Really easy row, a lot of uh, double crocheting, but continue on and I'll show you how to end row seven. When you get to the very uh, last 10 double crochets in a row, then you want to chain one and then skip the double crochet here on the end and then dub, uh, double crochet in the chain three here at the end to end row seven. And I'm here looking at the chart and I can see that that is the end of the repeat. So it's not two through ten, it's two through seven. So the repeat is uh, just go ahead and back up now to row two and it will be exactly the same as we, we did. So I guess you can remember when you get to the, the row where you begin with the, the four chains that that's the end of your repeat and now after that row you'll back up to row two and then I'll take you through the whole thing again. So that's it guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and it was helpful uh, and you can make something out of it. If you did like it, please don't forget to like and share and comment and subscribe. It, they all help me out so much. And if you want to always be notified whenever I release a new tutorial, you can go to my main YouTube page and click next to the subscribe button. There's a little bell button you can push and always be notified whenever I release a new video. Uh, if you're wanting to know these kind of hooks that I was using, I'm using a wooden furls hook, which is my five millimeter, but I also have a four millimeter uh, this is called Streamline. It's a new Streamline that they have. And uh, you can find both links to these, uh, these where you can get your own hook down below this video. Uh, I recommend that you order it with the extended hook. Because if not, this one originally, I don't know if they've changed it since then, but when I ordered this one, this was like half the size. So definitely say you want an extended hook. Also, I have a group on Facebook called Crochet for the Masses where we share projects that we just, pictures of projects we just finished or ask questions if we're looking for something or just ask questions about a pattern. Uh, it's, it's a nice place to go and keep your crochet uh, family growing. I hope I see you there in the group. So that's it guys, thank you so much.